It was a little rough in the beginning. Yeah, definitely went in my hole for about a week or so, maybe two, but um, definitely a lot better now and feeling so much more creative and doing stuff nonstop. It's been interesting to just really get creative with every wall in this little place and see what I can do with it. So yeah, it's been good. depressed why are you depressed i only have like 300 dollars to my name right now i fucking feel squeezed in a way i almost don't want quarantine to be over because then everyone's gonna know how pathetic my life really is like i feel like i need to go into hiding at this point if there was ever a time in history where it would be awesome to be rich it's like right now I mean, sure, I'd still be on lockdown, but at least I'd have more options. You know, to someone else out there, you're already rich right now. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. There's people starving in Africa, guilt trip, whatevs. (laughs) You know how bad I want sushi right now? Crazy. takeout sushi during quarantine is like three times the cost of a regular meal. These people are robbing us. I swear. I swear they're taking advantage. How could I be healthy if I have to eat junk food all the time because I'm broke? I mean... I'm trying to maintain a healthy immune system here, people. And that costs money. It's fucking depressing. You know, if you can't see how blessed you are now, then no matter how much money or whatever you manage to accumulate, you're never going to be able to see it. Oh, no, trust me. Give me a big bank account, Venmo me a mill, and I'd see it. Look, remember? Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. Okay, and you know how much money he has, right? He's so rich that he could afford to burn money if he wanted to. Gross. But his attitude is the worst. The worst. His attitude is so poor that it's in deficit. Yep. Definitely not my role model. And then there's Marissa. Remember her? With the big boobs? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. She's not rich, but doesn't she have the best attitude? Oh, man. I love Marissa. She's so awesome. She always has the cutest outfits. Well, Marissa, she has what I like to call the million dollar perspective. Hmm. If you should be wanting anything right now, it's that. The Million Dollar Perspective. The Million Dollar Perspective, huh? I like that. You know I've never been jealous of anybody with money, but I'm always jealous of people who have the Million Dollar Perspective. Mm. This is the only kind of jealousy that builds you up. It's infectious. It's always good for yourself and the people around you when you see someone and you want to adopt their Million Dollar Perspective. Right. They see so much beauty in their own backyard, they can't help but transpose it to everywhere they go. Whether they're on farmland in Oregon or a boat party in Miami, I mean that. I want to be like that too, but you need money to travel. If you can't get intoxicated on the fragrance of the grass and the dirt in your own backyard, you won't be able to do it when you visit someone else's backyard either. What do you mean? Try this. Take that energy you think you have for traveling to India or Russia or wherever you want to go and turn it back onto yourself. Hmm. See if you can find what's exotic and interesting about your own little backyard. If you can't do that, you have the wrong perspective. You may come back with a bunch of pictures, but you will have had no real experience. That's kind of crazy, but I kind of see what you mean. If you can't find joy in shooting the annoying girl, you know, the one who always taps you on the shoulder in the local bar every Friday because she wants a photograph, then you're still running at 5% of your potential. Really? It's only when the mundane excites you that you're ready. Damn. You have to train your mind to go deep and to enjoy the details. Mm. You have to make a practice out of making a mountain out of a molehill with all of your own boring shit Mm. before you can ever expect to make a mountain out of a molehill in an exotic situation. Right. Sure, you'll be in a brand new place. Yeah, but you'll still be doing what you do at home. Merely scratching the surface. Damn. A bored person is still a bored person even when they travel. Hmm. Too many people are traveling and taking selfies in exotic locations while their minds are full of turmoil. Hmm. If you want to truly feel what it feels like to be intoxicated from the fragrance of tequila and perfume while you're shooting your giggling model against the full-length mirror that you placed on the floor with a soundtrack of Travis Scott and a creepy fan reverberating against the four walls of your small hotel room in Iceland, 
Give the annoying girl in your local bar your full attention next time. Ooh, you're right. I don't want to be one of those people out there who sticks only to their friends where they're traveling, or those annoying people that are always trying to find a McDonald's, even though they're in Jerusalem. Now you understand. Forget clout chasing. Right. Start perspective chasing. Try to surround yourself with people who have the best perspective in life. Put the money goal on freeze for a minute. You'd only end up spending it on all the wrong things anyways because you don't have that million dollar perspective yet. Hmm. You'd still be a depressed, unfocused, sorry version of yourself, but only now with too much access to distractions that may end up destroying you. I never thought of it that way. That's pretty bleak, bro. I predict that very soon. If you stick to this new path, there are millionaires that will be jealous of you when you walk into a room because they'll be able to feel that even though they have more money than you, they're poor as fuck where it really counts. That's a crazy idea. Listen, when you're depressed and the sun is shining, you don't even see it, right? Right. But when you're in love and the sun is shining, it's like the best day of your life, right? Well, yeah, us. It's the same exact sun, but with two different perspectives. Sharpen your mind so that you never miss it when the sun is shining, no matter what outside events are happening in your life. You're right. You're only broke if your perspective is broke. I'm not saying don't try to be rich, bitch. I'm just saying work on appreciating and seeing the glory of every step of the journey getting there so that when you finally arrive, you're as rich as an emperor, even on the inside. Definitely grateful for everything that I have. And your emails are always so inspiring and really motivating for me because it's easy to like get in your heads and be self-conscious and think you're not good enough and, you know, doubt yourself and go into that hole. But your words really help me personally. And I know a lot of other people like to, to do more and be better. Go within and reset and then open up again.